Congratulations on your purchase of Driver Reviver. In addition to the confirmation page after your payment, you should also receive a confirmation email for your records. In both cases, you'll find your license code right here. And if you haven't installed Driver Reviver already, you can also find the installation file right here to download, open up, and install. When the program opens, it will automatically run a system scan of all your drivers. In this case, it's found just one driver on my system that's out of date, but often enough there will be dozens. But before we deal with that, let's go ahead and register Driver Reviver to unlock its full features. Just come to Register, and let's click here since we already have that license key, which again we can find on the confirmation page or in our email to copy. And paste. And now the product is fully activated and set to go. Click OK. Also note that we can always create a safety net for our system before we update any drivers. It's very rare, but it is technically possible to have driver glitches, such as a company putting out a new driver that turns out to have issues. But with this feature, you can create a backup of your current drivers, in case you have any issues at all and would like to restore your system to when it was last working. So let's click Start Backup, and I'll select this first option to create a backup of all my system drivers, not just specific ones. Click Next, and it might take a minute here to scan and process. Great, now that we have that safety net, let's click OK, come back to the Home tab, and click Start Scan Now. Driver Reviver will scan all of my updated drivers and cross-reference them against the manufacturer's databases and look for any cases in which the manufacturer has a new driver available. Again, I've just got the one outdated driver at the moment. I'll update it, and Driver Reviver will download any new drivers from the manufacturer's official websites. We'll click Install, and it will create a restore point for us, then install those drivers. Depending on the drivers, this could take seconds or it could take several minutes and it's common that you'll be asked to restart your computer for the new drivers to take effect. So if you are, just go ahead and do so. In this case, all of my drivers are now up to date, and no further action is needed. But again, if I suddenly start having issues of any kind, I can always come right back here to the Backup tab, and click Restore to revert back to any old drivers that I had. And that's it! You're all set to use Driver Reviver to keep your PC up to date and running smoothly. But if you have any issues, feel free to contact our friendly support team for assistance.